Excellent. And I want you to think, like, you've got, you go back to America, you're visiting, you're in Chicago, walking down the street, and, uh, you know, friend or family member, or just even someone who, like you said, looks up to you, sure. comes up to you and says, hey, Joel, I want to, I think I want to move overseas, hmm. or I think I want to, I want to have a big change in my life. Hmm. What would be your biggest piece of advice for them? I would say, where do you want to go? What interests you? Why are you looking to go abroad? Because you have to have a certain personality for it. And my first thing would never be to say no. I would never say no. Mm -hmm. My first thing is to see why and where and what really interests them. What language are you interested in? What culture are you interested in? And what's your mindset of the world so far? Because life abroad can get, it's, it's great. I love it. I love Vietnam. It's wonderful. But you have to understand that are you going to be the kind of person that can follow rules? Are you going to be the kind of person that needs to see everything in your way all the time? Mm -hmm. If you're the kind of person that can be a bit more flexible, I would say have a conversation. Where do you want to go? All this stuff. If you're the kind of person where you need things to be your way, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Uh, but I would always have the conversation. I would never say no. Mm -hmm. And I would want to say why. Well, who has inspired you? What has inspired you? What have you done? What research have you done? Because my thing is, if you're going to come to somebody of interest, you need to, to, to provide some kind of value first, some kind of information. You can't just say, hey, hey I want to do something. Okay. <laughs> <You're> like, okay. <laughs> but if you say, hey, I want to do this. I've looked at this. I've researched this. Because when I wanted to go to China for the first time, I talked to my Chinese friends about it. I learned some Mandarin. I was very interested in the culture. I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on it and I learned from different people who were from China about China. And that's what made them want to help me because I had an interest and I had put in some work into learning about the culture. Mm -hmm. If you come to me with that kind of mindset, cool, let's have, a, let, let, let's have a talk. But if you come to me, just say, I want to go abroad. A lot of people want to go abroad. A lot of people want to do a lot of things. I don't care. You know, what, what is your interest? Why do you want to do it? Give me a logical reason. If it's, I mean, yeah, sure, there's some emotion attached to it. Fine, that's great. But what is the logical reason and what's your plan? Mm -hmm. When I wanted to come to Vietnam, I told all my family about it, and they were like, okay, what's your plan? And I told them my plan, and that's what got them on board with helping me get here. But if you come in with no plan, it's hard to help you. Mm -hmm. So, or at least an idea, at least an idea. But, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's okay. It. So, I've interviewed probably over 20 people now. Sure. The one thing, the one common theme that they have is that they all say, do your research. Oh yeah. Oh, you, you have you, to, you, you have to. You just said it, you just said it in a longer way, but it, like it's always come down to do your research you have before, to. You, before you make that move. Going in blind is dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, 